Good afternoon, Professor Brown. Good afternoon, classmates. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I express my gratitude to my Ecuadorian government because Ecuador has given me this opportunity. I was applying a scholarship, go teacher, and I got it. So I was here studying seven months. I'm here because I wanted to improve my English language skill. Balco have the opportunity to everyone to improve all the, the skills that we have to work hard every day. During this time, we were learning a lot of things. So, I'm going to share with you what I was doing here. I'm Priscilla Smith. I am an ESL teacher. And be ready because I'm going to talk about five critical things, five critical concepts. The first one, remember all of these three books by Socorro Herrera. Oh my goodness. You can find a lot of things, important things that you are going to apply and also you have to keep in mind that all the strategies, that all the things are going to be according to your student's necessities. Biography driven instruction. Why is that important? You know that everyone here, everyone in classroom brings something to class. You can bring, or your students can bring experiences, backgrounds, your native language, and all that information is going to be a high quality tool for what? To plan, to design your lessons. This concept is, is related with the next one, the present model. As students, you know that you can have your native language as we have, okay, as we do. For example, my native language is Spanish. So that dimension is related to what? to the language development. In that dimension, if we are talking about the present model, we are talking about the linguistic. We have the linguistic, also we have the social cultural, we have the cognitive, and we have the academic. The academic. The academic okay, don't forget that. So, if you take into account all these aspects, you have to think that all the methods that you are applying from this group you are not going to use it for that group. Why? Because every student is different. Communicative approach, finally. We are not talking about the same thing some years ago. We are not talking about a traditional class. Why? Because the main objective is understand and comprehend a language. In this case, English. You have to choose one strategy, one method that is according to your student. Also, I like, and also I can say that I love that when I'm talking about, I'm going to use a language for what? For communication, that's it. Can you help me read this? Yes, okay. What about the bubble? Okay, there is a clear negative relation between anxiety and learning success. Why? Because you already know that if our students are feeling anxious, if our students are sad, worried, they are not going to feel comfortable in classes. So they are not going to give their best. Why do we have to do? Motivate them, that's it. Keep in mind that we as a teacher, we have to find that time to our students. And finally, formative assessment. This is a big process that you can put in practice from the beginning and also to the end. It's important that you have to pay attention to your students. While you are developing a lesson, not everyone is going to be with you. Some students are going to be behind. That's why you have to be ready. 
to give a good feedback. Ready to learn? Yes. Ready to learn? Yes. Okay, so now I can show you that I have candies for you. So please, keep working hard. Hey, can you help me turn it off? Okay, right now, please, I'm going to give you here one envelope. Inside the envelope, there are some cards. Just choose one. Don't try to, to choose the same color, okay? Just say one and pass it down, okay? Okay, left or right, who are going to be the, the class? Okay, you have, you have your card right now. Can I open it? Yes, yeah, you, you can open it. Right now, you are going to take one marker. Say one marker and write your name. The first thing that you are going to do is write your name on your card. Okay? If you write your name, the first thing, write your name. What was the first thing? Write your name. Okay? Please, during all this session, you have to keep this card. Okay? Right now, you have to open it. Okay? In this card, you can find something that says Rito. Oh my goodness, what is Rito? You have to guess. Yes, yeah, something that you have to guess. That's right. So, you have to think because this is an unimportant question that you are going to call me. A riddle, okay? Just start thinking. Just read it. This is going to be individual. Read it and answer. Okay? After you have find the answer, just write it down. One. Okay. Go and cheat. It's just individual. You told me that you are ready. I need some volunteers. Who wants to be my first volunteer? Gina, can you speak aloud? What about your riddle? Yes, read it aloud. And the rest of the class, pay attention. There is an ancient invention still used in some parts of the world today that allows people to see through walls. What is it? Okay, something that allows you to see through walls. Did you guess? Someone that can help us. Windows. A window? Yes, that's right. Windows. Another monitor, but you don't have to read the same one. Okay, another. There are only four. I need a volunteer. Who wants to be a volunteer? <laughs> oh my goodness. Who wants to be a volunteer? Just read it. Okay. <coughs> Give me food and I will lie. Give me water and I will die. What I am? Mm. Five? Yes, that's right. Another volunteer. Uh, what does this it's head in the morning and gets it back at night. Wow. I, I think it is the moon. No. Could be, maybe. But who has another answer? A pillow. Pillow. Yeah, a pillow. That is good. The moon. And the last one. <laughs> what has four fingers and a thumb but is not living? I don't know. It's a little hard. So, what has this meaning? What can? Who can you guess? Four fingers and a thumb but it's not living. <laughs> it has four fingers and a thumb but it's not living. What? What is that? Block? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right now, you have your card. You have to find a heart. Did you find? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cats have three different hearts. One of them has some dots. Another one has some lights. And the last one just has one color. Right now, you have to find your group. The hearts with dots here. The hearts with lights on the card. And just one color here.
Okay, take one sheet of paper and pass it down. Okay, you see a picture here. Okay, but in that paper, you are going to put something in the middle. In this middle is going to be your topic. Okay, you are going to put something that is related to the topic. And around this circle, you are going to put all the things that come to your mind. Okay? All the things that come to your mind. That is called the mind map activity. Okay? Right now, just brainstorm. You can draw, you can write. Right now, you are going to talk about the, we have to the topic. About the orange thing. What is the Okay, boys, girls. And this one? Yeah, that's right, okay? This is going to be your homework, okay? And okay. tomorrow, we are going to keep working with those posters, okay? okay? You have to bring tomorrow all the things that you have in your mind. What is going to be this topic about, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.